Hey there, welcome to ITV. I'm Ambika Kalbergi. Vayala Ravi, the Indian Minister of Overseas Indian Affairs, was given a reception by the Embassy of India in Washington, D.C. on Sunday, January 22nd. Today and next week on ITV, we will have segments from the reception. Indian Ambassador Nirupa Marao gave a brief speech while welcoming Minister Ravi. Datta Pad Salgikar, Minister of Community Affairs, welcomed the gathering. It's indeed a distinct honor and a privilege to have amongst us Sri Vaila Ravi, Honorable Minister of Overseas Indian Affairs, to interact with the Indian American community here. Uh, so the three million Indian diaspora in the United States is a very vibrant community and has excelled in almost all the fields, whether it's as physicians, as IT professionals, as even lawyers, and even in politics today, sir. They interact very regularly with the Indian Embassy, and we are a bridge for them to talk to their own motherland. Some of them, even from the Greater Washington area, recently attended the Pravasi Bharti Divas in Jaipur. Now I would request the Ambassador, ma'am, to welcome the Minister. Honorable Minister, dear friends, it's indeed a privilege and an honor for me to welcome the Honorable Minister for Overseas Indian Affairs, Sri Vaila Raviji, this evening to the Chancery to meet with members of our community. It happens to be the first visit by a senior member of our cabinet to Washington, D.C. in this new year, and therefore it assumes even more special importance for all of us. Today, about 215 million people live outside their countries of origin. Over 25 million of them are of Indian origin. Over 180 countries in the world today are home to the Indian diaspora, the second largest diaspora in the world. As India is getting ready to write and rewrite its tale of economic resurgence, its diaspora is looking at it with a sense of not only of nostalgia, but pride and optimism. The overseas Indian communities have been natural partners in India's growth and development, in realizing our developmental aspirations and in our nation building effort. Truly, this is a defining phase in the relationship between India and its diaspora. It is against this backdrop that India became one of the few countries in the world to establish a dedicated ministry in 2004 to facilitate engagement with overseas Indians and to benefit from their knowledge, their resources and experience and to accelerate the pace of economic and social change in India. The Honorable Minister has been one of the most important architects of ever expanding engagement with India, of India with the overseas Indian communities and in defining the vision of the new ministry. It has been his mission, and I quote the Minister, to make the ministry a true friend and guide to overseas Indians across the world, unquote. This has been demonstrated by a series of initiatives launched by the Ministry under his leadership over the past few years to reach out to our diaspora, respond to their concerns and to benefit, and this is important, to benefit from their knowledge, their skill and experience. One of the initiatives taken by the Ministry was to introduce the Overseas Citizenship of India scheme in December 2005 to give lifelong visa and other benefits to the diaspora in order to facilitate their social, cultural and economic engagement with India. The scheme, as you all know, has become hugely popular. Already over 10.2 lakh people have obtained OCI cards. The Indian American community by far is the biggest beneficiary of the OCI scheme. Over 4.13 lakh OCI cards have been issued in USA alone. Yet another important initiative of the Ministry has been to host the annual Diaspora Convention 
called Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, where we celebrate and honor the contribution of the Indian diaspora to India's socio-economic transformation. And to reach out to the Indian diaspora in the North American region, the first regional PBD was held in 2007 in New York, and the second one was held in Toronto last year. The last PBD hosted in Jaipur in partnership with the state of Rajasthan on 7th to 9th January 2012 on the theme of Global Indian Inclusive Growth was an important milestone as it was the 10th edition or the 10th anniversary of the PBD. It was hugely successful and was attended by over 2,000 delegates from all over the world. I am happy to note that the US contingent to the PBD Jaipur was one of the largest. I am sure the Honorable Minister will share with us some of his reflections about the outcomes of the successful PBD in Jaipur. To facilitate the Indian diaspora's economic engagement with India in making financial investments, setting up business enterprises, implementing social projects, or participating in infrastructure development, the Overseas Indian Affairs Ministry has established an Overseas Indian Facilitation Center in New Delhi as a single window facility. Under this new initiative, the government is implementing the e-migrate project that will provide an end-to-end -end computerized solution for all processes in the emigration system. An India Development Foundation has been set up to develop and channelize the philanthropic capital of the Indian diaspora. And again, even more importantly, the wonderful ideas and the experience that you can bring to India's development. There are several other initiatives such as the establishment of an electronic platform called Global Link for Overseas Indians, which is designed as a diaspora knowledge network portal, the No India program, scholarship program, legal assistance schemes, tracing the roots program, which are all aimed to enhance engagement with the Indian diaspora. <coughs> we in the embassy and through our consulates have been encouraging our community to take full advantage of these programs. We have an active community affairs wing at the embassy, as well as in our consulates, and it has been our constant endeavor to strengthen our engagement with Indian communities across the United States. The Indian American diaspora, with over three million people, is one of the most successful, affluent, and influential segments of the Indian diaspora. And they have been playing a stellar role in India's progress and for the cause of India-US friendship. The accomplishments and achievements of the Indian American community have caught the imagination of India and indeed of the world. This is in because of the reputation they have established for discipline, enterprise, and the determination to succeed, while at the same time never casting off your cultural moorings in India. Today, the Indian American community is making its mark in business, academia, science and technology, art and culture and media, as well as in government and in the US Congress. Some of the best medical practitioners, financial experts, IT professionals, scientists, researchers and academicians in the US today come from the Indian American community. We deeply value their contribution and the to the progress of this country as also in crafting the India-US partnership. Before I conclude, let me say a few words on the India-US partnership, a partnership which is built on strong foundations of shared values, our converging strategic and economic interests. The vibrant ties between our peoples and businesses act as a force multiplier in our efforts to make all-round progress in this relationship. The visits of our Prime Minister to the United States in 2009 and President Obama's visit to India <coughs> in November last year were landmark milestones in the development of our relations. Today, we are not only discussing issues such as strategic cooperation, <coughs> counterterrorism, defense, high technology, civil nuclear and space sector cooperation, but also a broad range of development issues that directly and positively impact on the lives of our citizens, including cooperation in education, health, 
biotechnology, agriculture, weather forecasting, and innovation. We are engaging with each other and cooperating on most global issues, as also on capacity <coughs> building in third countries, like in Afghanistan. As President Obama put it, the India-US partnership is one of the defining partnerships of the 21st century. The Indian-American community has been, and I am confident will continue, to play a crucial role in interpreting India's priorities to our American friends and to be a bridge of understanding and friendship between India and the United States. With these words, I once again extend a very warm welcome to the Honorable Minister and to his delegation and to our friends from the community for being with us this evening. Thank you. We will have more from the reception after the break.